Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. My name is Jared. I intended to do like a research video for this video, but I'm just not feeling the best right now. <laughs> and uh, like I've had this cough for one that's been going on since like November. So I have a I have an appointment scheduled at the VA. I'm gonna go in on Monday, see what that's all about. They're gonna do an X-ray, check for pneumonia, whatever. Uh, I don't think that it is pneumonia, but who knows? I'll let the doctors decide that and diagnose it. But uh, the last few days, like my family got sick and it's just been like awful. And it's like, I can't tell really, I guess it's, I guess we're sick, but it feels just like intense allergies. Like the type that I had back in Texas when I was stationed at Fort Hood in the army. Like those were the worst allergies I ever had. I, I found out there just how allergic I am to cedar. It's like Fort Hood is Cedar City, Texas, basically that area worst allergies ever. And I've been like having that kind of stuff going on here. So it's, it's like hard to tell. I think I have been sick. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. My family's basically gotten better. I'm getting a little bit better. You know, this is what I'm going to wear to this like wedding that we're going to tomorrow. We were supposed to go to the ceiling, but it's in Kansas city and it's too early. And so hopefully by the reception, I'll be feeling better. And we're planning on going to that. But anyway, so I apologize for like the quality of the videos lately. Uh, I'm sure that you've been able to hear my stuffy nose and just lack of energy. But I did want to do this video and I wanted to let you, and I haven't done this enough. I wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate all of you. I really, really do. Um, I need to do better at that, but I appreciate so many different things. I, I've listed out a few different things that I want to talk about. First, <clears throat> I want to thank you for your comments and your support. So many of you are just so nice and, and you, you know, keep me going and you encourage me, uplift me. And it does come through and it, and it has an effect just like negative comments have an effect. So do the, the positive comments. And I appreciate those positive comments. I also appreciate, you know, critiques, um, when they're done in a, in a nice way, <clears throat> even if they're not in a nice way, I still look at it. I still, you know, look inside myself and, and say, okay, is this, you know, this person's being kind of rude right now, but is this something that I can change that I can work on? So I even, I even appreciate those comments, but uh, just so you know, if you do do that, I'm going to block you <laughs> because I can't constantly be attacked by like all these toxic people. And that's just what happens when you do YouTube channels like this. You're always going to have people that don't like what you say or what you share or whatever. And I understand that. And, but I'm not one to really sit there and argue. So we just, you know, we just, I, I make the choice for you. We agree to disagree and we part ways. You can always stop watching the channel and on my end, I can just block your comments so I don't have to deal with it. I wish I didn't have to do that. And if I have blocked you, uh, I'm open to unblocking you, um, working it out. But I cannot continually receive abuse. And it's not just me. You know, it's other YouTube channels, too. Please be nice. You know, on the Internet, it, you know, it's it's brought out this, like, ugly side of people where, you know, there's anonymity. People don't really know who you are. They just see your username. And so you, you may say things uh, in comment sections or social media that you wouldn't say in real life because it'd be shameful. Um, but that's okay. You know, it's an outlet for toxic people to be their ugly selves. But all the comments, I, I appreciate them. I appreciate those that help uplift me. I appreciate the um, constructive <coughs> criticism. And even the toxic ones. By the end of this process, I don't know how long I'll be doing this channel, but I assume that by the end of it, I'll have the patience of a saint. And uh, I already feel like, you know, I've had all these like opportunities to exercise patience, restraint, you know, think about President Nelson's uh, talk a couple conferences ago, Peacemakers Needed. I've had lots and lots and lots of opportunities to try and be a peacemaker. Not perfect yet. But I, I appreciate all these opportunities because otherwise, where else would I have so many opportunities to, you know, fend off, you know, these attacks, not not react, not get into the muck with people. Uh, so for me, it's kind of a unique opportunity. 
Um, I have some more things to mention, but actually that just made me think uh, after my mission, <coughs> like a lot of missionaries in Utah, I ended up working at a couple of call centers and that was like my first exposure to just like constant uh, toxicity as people, especially like when it comes to money. Cause I, the first place I worked at a law firm that worked on people's credit reports. Um, it's essentially people trying to, um, Photoshop the past as though they never did anything wrong. They weren't late on their payments. And that's what this law firm did. And, uh, they did good work, good, honest work, but also there were people there that thought that there'd be a way to just erase the past by paying somebody enough money. And that's not how it works. But, you know, when it comes to people and money, that's where you see the really ugly side. I worked there. I worked at a major credit card company and, uh, I feel like all that kind of actually prepared me for this in a way. It gave me kind of like a dry run of of uh, <coughs> dealing with just random strangers that are upset uh, for various reasons. So it's all good. That's what we're here to do. Come to this earth, experience things like this, and, and hopefully grow and not join them. So I thank you all for the comments. Um, I'm grateful for the good advice. A lot of times you guys give me good advice, both personal and adv <coughs> advice for the channel. I don't always take all of it. You know, I have to like make my own choices, of course. But if I don't follow your advice, I still appreciate, you know, uh, your love and care and sincerity in sharing that advice and for trying to help whatever it is that you're you're giving advice for. Um, I also appreciate all your stories. Now, unfortunately, you know, I have literally thousands of emails and I can't go through all those emails. And the longer the email is, uh, the harder it is for me to get through it, um, much less respond to it. But I do see those emails. I may not read the whole thing, but I, I can tell a lot of you are sharing, you know, just special spiritual insights, sharing stories and I really thank you for all the time. I just wish that I had, you know, unlimited uh, time to respond to all of it and, you know, give a proper response to each and every email and comment. So I'm sorry about that, but I do have my limitations and I have to try and I need to, I have to try and prioritize uh, my emails and comments, which ones I'm going to respond to, which ones I'm going to investigate further. But it's been very, uh, <coughs> Me. It's been very inspiring to see all your stories and just like see everything that's going on, you know, outside my own household. You know, I'm sure, well, obviously the prophet, the apostles, general authorities, they probably see, well, I know, I know that they see a lot more than I do, but I've never had this kind of like exposure to seeing, looking into people's spiritual lives and, and there's just so many like miracles and things taking place among you. Uh, miracles with family, you know, having special dreams, uh, you know, having help uh, out of financial situations and stuff like that. It's really clear that the Lord is working among his people. And when you share it with me, it just gives me more joy and confidence and in faith. It helps build my testimony when I see those things. So thank you for sharing those experiences with me. <coughs> Sorry. Also, you know, the style of my channel, I kind of patterned it after other YouTube channels. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, I, uh, be before I started this channel, you know, I watched YouTube as well. And I'd have my channels that I would watch. And I just patterned this YouTube channel after other channels that I, I enjoyed. And um, the style of my channel is to just essentially do a lot of research and then share you share with you what I find, but not just to, you know, me do all the teaching like I talk and you listen. I really appreciate as all of you have participated in the research that I'm doing here on this channel. When you pass along a um, a quote, you know, one that I never had heard before, and that's happened so many times, it's it's kind of shocking how many there's been. Uh, it makes me wonder how many more are there out there that I don't know about that I'm going to eventually find and then put on my spreadsheets. 
but I appreciate essentially this like crowdsourcing uh, effort that we're all doing together as you watch this channel because I can't do it all. Like I, I can do a lot, you know, but like not nearly as much as um, not nearly as much if it wasn't for you, you know, because I, I can't again, just like I don't have I'm limited in my time and how many emails I can respond to. I'm also limited uh, in how much I can research and all the different uh, websites and article <coughs> articles and stuff that I can uh, read in a day. You know, I, I, I have limitations. And so it's really awesome doing this together and growing together and consolidating all this information, um, both on this channel, but also on my spreadsheets. I, I want you to take whatever you want from my spreadsheets you can't change my spreadsheet it's view only but you can copy anything that you want from there and i hope that you do that um a lot of people have put in a lot of work you know putting all this together me and then all of you and so i would hope that we would all benefit from it and have a better understanding uh, not only of the church or not only of the second coming <coughs> but the church too because i don't stay strictly within the confines of the second coming. I, I like looking into different doctrine and, and finding those like more obscure um, quotes, which we have to be careful with, by the way, if, if just one person said something, it could be doctrine, but it may not be. You have a better assurance that something is actual doctrine if it's repeated by many. And so we always, ha we always have to keep that in mind. But on the flip side, I don't think that we should just be like, oh, no, that's just his opinion or he or he's the only one that said that. I think that we should take that into account and then just wait and see what actually happens if that person ends up being right about whatever they're saying. But um, I know a lot of you. Um, <coughs> you see this? Oh, gosh, please let it be over soon. Um. I know a lot of you have uh, started like your own spreadsheets and you've shared those with me and I'm grateful for that. I've used some of those spreadsheets on the channel. You know, some of you have been able to go further than I could with researching certain things. So I thank you for all of your efforts. Um, again, if you share something with me, I may not always agree uh, with you, just like I'm sure you don't always agree with me about what's significant and what's not. And we may have different, you know, prioritizations of our, of how we view things. You know, we think that this, I may think that this is really important, but you may think it's only this important. And you may think that something like this is this important, but I think it's this important. So, so never take it offensively if I don't go along with one of your ideas or something that you're sharing. It's just, it's just human nature. And, I respect your views and uh, in the way that, you know, what the, the conclusions that you have come to. Uh, it's OK to agree to disagree, but let's, you know, let's be civil, obviously. I um, also want to thank the, the members only. <coughs> Initially, I wasn't going to do members only, but they offered an incentive to start members only for your channel. They were doing like this big push among YouTube creators. And so I decided to take advantage of that and I've done some videos and um I think you I think a lot of you realize it's just a way to help support me in my efforts but I do plan on making more videos for members only I just have to get to a place where I can do that it's been a few months but I thank you for that support uh it means a lot um if you have any recommendations for what to do for members only if you're or if there's something you'd like to see there then let me know I, I would like that feedback um, I appreciate all the close friends that I've made. <coughs> oh, gosh. Again, I wish I could spend time with each and every one of you individually. And I, I'm actually hoping that I don't really I don't really know how to do this or what or if it's gonna work out, but I want to do some like meetups. I'd like to do one here in Wichita. There there were, as I expected, a few of you that would be able to do that. You know, I would like to, I would like to meet with you. I've talked to Troy from the last dispensation channel. He floated the idea of like doing a thing, uh, in Utah, um, which may, may happen. I, I don't know, 
but I would really like to meet more of you. Again, I have limitations. Some of you I've gotten to know pretty well and actually become friends with, especially those that I've uh, interviewed on the channel. Like back in the early days of the channel, I did a lot more interviews. Now, not so much, but I made some good friends by doing those interviews, and I appreciate you and love you. I'm glad that we're friends now. Um, and then, I guess lastly, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> lastly, thank you to everyone that's participated in the Flood the Earth Challenge, where we're sharing the Book of Mormon. Um, you know, after this life, we'll look back and we'll we'll see whether or not we accomplished the missions that we were supposed to do in this life that we planned in the pre-mortal life. And I tend to think that this might be one of my things to accomplish is to run this challenge because it's making a difference. Uh, people are meeting with the missionaries and getting baptized. And I think that this is a great way to use technology for something other than just entertainment. You know, I want this channel to be partly entertainment to entertain, but I also mostly want it to be for learning and uh, increasing in our knowledge of church doctrines and watching for signs of the times and keeping on top of things. But um, obviously, like, this is so much more important, I think, by doing the Flood the Earth Challenge and uh, making an actual difference in the world because it's it's nice to know things about the 144,000 the 10 lost tribes, new Jerusalem, on and on and on, you know, to watch for the next, you know, new star that appears in the sky. It's great. But, uh, I don't think that's what we were sent here to do. <coughs> and, uh, the point of the flood, the earth challenge is to motivate you to share copies of the book of Mormon that otherwise you would not have shared. We're trying to like, um, trying to, realize those unrealized shares of the, the Book of Mormon. So again, uh, the goal is to try and share 10, each of us individually. Um, I've done that myself for New Year's. I said I was going to share more because I still have more on my contacts list that I want to go down. So I need to start working on that myself. But, you know, it, it's just, it, it's, it's a good thing. It's like, you, <coughs> uh, um, you don't necessarily have to go on a mission to be a missionary. Everybody knows that member missionaries. And this is just a good way to, uh, get, <coughs> give incentive to do missionary work. You know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of shocked by how much, how many, um, what in, in what it's like resulted in i'm gonna be honest for the first few months i was like uh no one's gonna get baptized like it, it felt like that would be too good to be true but then they started rolling in and they continue to do so so it's like gotta keep going i'm not gonna stop doing this until you know whenever i don't know if i'm still gonna be doing a youtube channel after the second coming or if it's gonna stop at that time <coughs> But I'm just going to keep doing it until I can't anymore. And I hope that you do too. Try to at least get to 10 and let's make something amazing happen. So thank you for your efforts in doing that. It's changing the world. It's bringing, <laughs> it's bringing people to Christ. <coughs> I wonder if anybody's watching this still after me coughing so much. Oh. For last for the last two nights, my nose has been like so runny that like it like wakes me up. And I have like a CPAP because I have sleep apnea. And so it's like, you know, to blow my nose or something, I have to take off my mask and, you know, take care of business. And it's been a rough couple nights. I'm hoping that tonight we'll all get, I'll get a good night's sleep. <sighs> But so thank you, everybody. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kindness. Also, thank, thank you to all of you that are not so kind for giving me practice 
and helping me to um, build up more resistance and, and have practice at being a peacemaker. Um, I think that's all I want to say. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I know it's not the best video, but again, thank you. I love you all. Keep up the good work with everything. Stay on the covenant path. You know, focus on the things that actually matter. The covenant path, missionary work, gathering scattered Israel on both sides of the veil, becoming a Zion people, focusing on your household and your family. But yeah. Okay, that's going to be it for this one. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. If you liked it, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Also, make sure to share it, and I'll talk to you guys later.